hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chimaima one more thing you should know is that preclinicals is very fast before you know it in three years or less you will finish your preclinicals but now the problem is that clinicals is slow like right now we have 400 level a b c d before they can clear out all this set for the preclinicals to come in you may sit at home for a long time or you may just find yourself doing postings for a long time before you can eventually move into um, clinicals no matter what happens by the time it gets to your set who knows things may clear out by then but you should know that preclinicals is very fast less than three years you're done but the hold up is in clinicals then another thing you should know is that in case you've not seen the whole series of what happened you should know the history of the school that you're getting into i'll put the link for you up so that you see the whole protest suspension and all so you should know that in clinicals you will pay school fees more than once in a class prepare yourself ahead of time although it's not that expensive it's about 300k so it's, it's nearly nothing to many of the rich kids that are watching me here i mean if you want to apply to funai you should be a rich kid to apply to funai one more thing is that in as much as and to be honest my preclinical lecturers not all the majority of my preclinical lecturers are just the worst when you cross over to clinicals clinical lecturers are the best majority of the clinical lecturers want you to pass they will explain things for you to understand but in preclinicals it's a whole ball game in fact preclinical is like a rat race it's like a dungeon so try everything possible to leave that place try everything possible to pass your exam so that you cross over to clinicals clinicals is like the heaven of funa mbvs one more thing is you see school fees pay your school fees on time to avoid unnecessary embarrassment FUNA is so particular about fee that if you've not paid your fees, you will not write the exam. And I'm not even joking. And you know, if you don't write the exam, you will fail. And if you fail, you will repeat. And if you repeat, you will pay school fees again. And if you're supposed to pay the school fees again, you still don't pay on time, you will fail out and you'll be withdrawn. You don't want that for yourself. So I beg, if you cannot afford FUNA fees, go and look for another medical school that you can afford. I'm not saying this to make you feel bad. I am being realistic here. If you cannot afford full night school fees please look for a, a cheaper medical school because this school is expensive the school fees is entirely different from how much you spend on transport feeding manuals lab coat and every other little payment here and there so prepare yourself ahead of time Funa is not a cheap school at all one more thing i advise you to join groups on facebook groups on whatsapp just check for funai mbbs aspirants or funai aspirants f-u-n-a-i and you see a lot of groups on facebook when you join those groups search out for whatsapp group especially for mbvs aspirants and join that is what helped me so much in my time and funai also has a website funai.edu.ng that's another thing you can follow up their website for information and then just ensure you join their student groups for dissemination of information it is top notch in funai funai has so many group chats that they have dedicated staff the PRO is inside this group chat, like FUNAI PRO is inside this group chat that disseminates genuine information to students. You won't have problem with information in FUNAI. Then another thing I'll tell you is please join CMD or FECAMS. If you're a Christian, you're a Catholic, of course, join any of those. Christian Medical and Dental Association, they have the student arm, so join that. FECAMS is a federation of um, Catholic medical students. You can also join them so you get closer to God if you are you know the religious staff that is interested they have a lot of programs that you would want to be a part of at least i know for the one in funai they are very very active and one more thing you know is that for the political aspects our msa is not so developed well probably by the time that you're watching this and by the time you're in funai you get probably by then things would get better i'm one of the pioneer leaders of the msa and well we have tried to make all the sacrifices so hopefully by the time you get into the school Elections should have held and we would have had leaders and things to start moving smoothly. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And then you should prepare to volunteer. There are a lot of volunteering activities for you. So many volunteering activities from your class group chat. You would be able to know what exactly is happening. Volunteer, go for outreaches. Just apply yourself out there and gain leadership skills and gain a lot of skills that would help you outside your MBBS admission. Um, certificate another thing is if you're interested in politics go for nimsa events nimsa is nigerian medical students association is is it's an association of all medical students in nigeria and our own msc that's alex Ekwe federal university medical students association that's a fumsa is an affiliate of nimsa so we travel for a lot of nimsa events we have nimsa health week we have nimsa games we have international health summit we have nimsa general assembly these are opportunities for you to network with medical students all over nigeria i mean that is 
so awesome so it's a very nice opportunity to meet people from other medical schools i try not to miss any of these stem cell programs every year i try to attend every one of them and i would advise you do so if you're of course interested in politics and you know secular stuff if you're not interested in all those things if you're more of a christian 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 you can attend fecams if you're a catholic or cmda for all christians one more thing you should know is that things are very expensive in funai <laughs> especially if you're in the preclinical campus because they, they transport their materials all the way from Abakaliki town to that place and then they know that students are there and students are rich people things are just outrageously expensive the prices are exorbitant pos charges are outrageous prepare yourself ahead of time then for funa sug well it depends on the tenor but some Tenors can turn out crap, some tenors can come out real good, but in summary, FUNA is just a glorified secondary school. The school management does not really respect SUG like what you see in bigger universities. School management can just stand up and ban SUG. School management has a grab on the SUG, so there's a limit to how far SUG can go to fight for students. That's one thing you should know. Even the MSA too, there's a limit to how much you can fight. Look at what school did to us when we protested and tried to fight for our rights. They crumpled upon us. So you should know that the school management is ready with hawk eyes to grab you and fling you out if they find out that you're a violent student. So pipe low and just get your MBBS degree and disappear. One more thing is that when you start 100 level, register on time, finish your registration on time, get your lab coat on time register for practicals on time so that you get your practical manuals on time you'll be able to attend practicals on time because without practical manual and without lab coat you will not be allowed into practical lab so prepare yourself ahead of time and you see gst don't joke with gst oh i know if you have e in gst or if you fail gst you can receipt it sorry for the noise my neighbors are making noise try and pass gst because if you don't pass it you will not you will not write mb you must have passed all your gst courses before you can cross over to clinical so just try i know it's 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 crazy but just try more things you see that internet fee i think is six five yeah i said maybe they change the, the how much it is in your time or seven five don't joke with that internet fee i know they may not disturb you for it but i think they yeah i think they started disturbing for it make sure you pay all your internet fee because by the time you're ready to do clearance from 300 level to 400 level they will ask for it and paying seven five times three i don't think is the kind of amount of money that you can just get out of the blue so just pay it even though they're not asking for it pay it and keep the teller safe i think right now they started changing from tellers to receipt yes they started changing from tellers to receipt so when you pay go and change the teller to receipt and keep that receipt safe even if they don't ask it for you now you will need it when you're doing clearance i forgot to add that for school fees right now you guys are very lucky there is now a bank situated inside this preclinical campus you're very lucky in my time there was nothing like that we had to travel to abakaliki to make all our payments so i would employ you to make use of the banking services there in the school all you need to do is just go there write the things you want to pay for sug and the rest make your payments all there they will generate the remitter for you make the payment print a remitter receipt for you everything is just smooth it's just that you may have to pay extra but the extra is is nothing compared to the transports that you pay to abakaliki town the risk involved and then one more thing you should know about using this bank is the queues <laughs> Hey, the queue is ridiculous so if you want to make payment i advise you make payment at home before you come to school especially for the remitter payment make it at home before you come to school and then for the ones that you need to deposit into a particular bank like fidelity bank for parents for room and then zenith bank for sug and these other ones you can also pay in any branch of zenith bank any branch of fidelity bank when you make your remitter payment you have to confirm that payment in school bursary they have to stamp and sign on it especially for remitter payment before you will be allowed to change that remitter into school fee receipt yes i need to add that for the ogs like me i make my remitter payments by myself online but please disclaimer don't follow me if you don't know what you're doing if you've never done it before don't follow me the reason why I'm, i do this is that i am still going to confirm this payment when i get to school if you like paying the bank right there in school premises you will still have to confirm the remitter payments at bursary 
so what's not the point paying my way to the bank queuing at the bank wasting my time and the bank will tell you no net or go come back ah, i just go come and sit down in my house eh, and do my payment by myself as soon as i have my network sorry guys i need to add that ahead this video is it's getting too long the last part is going to be out next week i love you welcome to my school by the way <laughs>